Today is a very special and nostalgic day because I bought this. It's a brand new iPhone 5 that is still sealed and supposedly has never seen the light of day. And today we're going to unbox it. Today's heaping portion of nostalgia is brought to you by Private Internet Access, the world's leading VPN service. Private Internet Access has over 30 million downloads across the world and hosts over 10,000 VPN servers in more than 70 countries. You can run PIA on any of your devices. There are apps available for Mac OS, Windows, iOS, Android, Linux, even Amazon Fire TV sticks if you have one of those. With private internet access, it's super easy to connect and switch countries to allow you to unblock geo-restricted content. In addition, private internet access blocks those annoying ads and those tracking cookies that follow you all around and try to show you ads for things that you clicked on like three weeks ago. You don't have to worry about those anymore. Right now, you can get private internet access for two years plus three months free for just $2.59 per month, and there's a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied. You can head over to privateinternetaccess.com slash lukemiani, or just click the link in the description below to redeem this offer. So check out Private Internet Access today. Okay, so I know what some of you are gonna say. Luke, you're gonna ruin this thing by unboxing it. All the value is in that seal. And I agree with you, so I bought two. This is very expensive. So I've unboxed a number of sealed old Apple devices on the channel before, but iOS devices are a little bit tricky because there's a bit more of a market for them as compared to the sealed Macs that I've taken a look at. And unfortunately, because there's a market for them, a, l a lot of them are fake. And if you think about it, it makes sense. It's an easy target for scammers because ideally what they want is you're gonna buy this sealed iPhone 5 and you're gonna keep it as a collector's item and you're not gonna open it and therefore realize that they scammed you. So hopefully that didn't happen to me, but unlike normally, we're actually gonna find out because I'm gonna open this and, and thus ruin all the value if it is indeed real. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation, but anyway. So looking around the outside of the box, things look pretty good. You can see we've got a little bit of a tear here in the front, some definite wear markings along the top of the seal. There's a small hole in the bottom corner. All of this is stuff that you really want to see because, you know, theoretically this should be a nine-year-old plastic seal, so it shouldn't be perfect. If this is real, as soon as I push this knife in, 80% of the value of this is just gone. I can see the merits of the unboxing knife now. I'll admit, I get the appeal. In a rather embarrassing turn of events, I've had to abandon the kitchen knife and we're gonna try again with this iFixit pry-y tool -y thing. Oh, that's so much better. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's like butter. That was really satisfying. Ooh, did you see that? Oh yeah, that was good. <laughs> Damn, look at this go. Oh yeah. Oh, I could make a habit out of this. This is fun. This is like actively fun. It's a very expensive way to have fun though. <laughs> we should now be able to remove just the bottom part of the seal. Oh my gosh, this is stressful. First time in nine years, iPhone 5. Look at that. There it is. Look at those chamfered edges. Those chamfered edges which get scratched by like air. If you ever had an iPhone 5 back in the day, then you know that these, these polished edges looked pretty for the first mm, roughly 30 seconds and then they attracted dust and smudges and scratches. 
unbelievably quickly. Oh man, I almost feel bad for touching this thing. We do still have the plastic on the back of the device. Oh man, I forgot how light the iPhone 5 was. I mean, look at this thing. That black slate looks so good. I remember when I got my iPhone 5 in 2012 and the next morning after I woke up, I saw it sitting there and I, I couldn't even believe it. It just looked like such an expensive thing, such a wonderful looking device. It was almost unbelievable. These didn't come with microfiber cloths, I don't think. I wish Apple would start putting microfiber cloths in stuff. What are they trying to cut costs? Come on, they can afford a microfiber cloth here or there. Throw a guy a bone. Here's our iPhone info. Of course, our Apple stickers. And ee, the iOS 6 fingertips. Look at that. Remember when they tried to boil down everything about an operating system into a piece of paper and then put that in the box? Now that's interesting. I don't know if you can see this here, but the piece of plastic around the lightning cord looks a little bit yellowed, a little bit oxidized, which you would expect for sitting nine years in a box. Here's our ear pods. I actually loved these ear pods. They came out alongside the iPhone this year and the fifth gen iPod touch. Remember you used to get them in the box with this convenient case and all that stuff. I had so many pairs of these. These things sounded pretty good though, considering that they were just in the box for free. I almost feel bad about peeling this off. It, it feels almost sacrilegious. I'm gonna leave it on actually. I'm gonna, we're gonna boot it up and I'm gonna leave it on for a second. Just, just, wait, what am I thinking? It's not gonna boot up. It's been in a box for nine years. I'm not gonna just turn it on. I've got a lightning cord ready and waiting. Is it really booting right up? Oh my God, oh, and now it shuts down. Yeah, that's that, that happens from time to time. So it's been a little while. We've got the phone all charged up here and I'm really looking forward to going through the iOS 6 setup screen for the first time since I opened my iPhone 5 back in 2012. And I, I still haven't taken off the screen protector on the front and back. I, I just can't bring myself to do it. I can't bring myself to smudge up this brand new iPhone 5. But let's go ahead and run through the setup app so we can unplug it. <gasps> oh, look at it. Oh, that sound. That's a good sound. Here we are. We're on the activation screen. And just like that, all the value is now completely gone. As soon as it's open and activated, poof. Bye-bye value. <laughs> We'll, we'll skip the Apple ID. We'll, we'll come back to that when we try to install some apps on it. Because I'm hoping that we'll be able to get some, some fun retro apps. Let's see that iOS 6 home screen for the first time. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's try out the camera. There it is, the first picture with the iPhone 5 or with this iPhone 5, not with any iPhone 5. This phone was so good at the time. It feels so light and tiny. You know I had to go for this in slate. Like there was no way I was gonna get the silver color. I think it just looks so good. I wish they'd bring it back actually. That would be a really cool color to resurrect. We are not updating. There will be no updating of iOS on this device. You know what, I think while we're waiting to try and get some apps installed, I think we just need like a slow motion B-roll montage of this phone for like 58 seconds, starting now.
plenty of people still have their iPhone 5s. But you will literally never see one that looks like this. So we're back, we got some apps installed. I love how they all have that new banner, even though they're all so, so old. I think we gotta start with iBeer. I remember iBeer. Okay, we don't need push notifications from iBeer. <laughs> this is so nostalgic to back when this is what apps were. Ooh, you can drink it. <laughs> Oh no, this is too good. Oh, we could do milk. Oh no, you have to pay for milk. <laughs> you gotta pay for milk. <laughs> oh no, this one never got optimized. It still has the black bars. What is that? Ah. All right, let's try the Audi A4 driving challenge. This is another really old one. Oh, oh wow, this is just like a real car actually. This is incredible, ooh. This is incredibly lifelike. Oh, I got a one second penalty, what? Let's do real racing too. This should be, I'm expecting some really incredible graphics and gameplay here. This is actually, this is a throwback because I used to play real racing all the time on my iPhone 5. And I do remember being really impressed by how good it looked. All of this is just coming back to me. I have not thought about real racing 2 since probably 2013, but it's all coming back to me now. Real racing 2 matches got intense, let me tell you. I would be really going hard sitting on the bus, going to school. I would, I would be really flying through these turns, kissing those apexes, you know. I gotta say, for the time and for the hardware that this is running on, I think these graphics kind of hold up. Like, it, I think it looks pretty good. Honestly, today, today was a really good day. Just being able to see my first ever iPhone. This, this is where it all began. And this is just how I had it too. No case or anything. I, I was very bold to think that I could keep an iPhone 5 in good condition, but I did. I had like one little nick on the top of the screen. Damn. Sorry, I got lost in my own head there. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if your first iPhone was the iPhone 5. Let me know if this recaptured any nostalgia for you guys. I know it did for me. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,